okay, the question is for the circuit in this figure here, obtain V1 and V2. Let's see here, we have V1 and then V2. And we are, we need to use nodal analysis. So what are the steps? So we will need some steps here. The first one will be label the nodes. Okay. The first one will be label the nodes and extract what information that we can get from the circuit. Okay, and we already given that V1 is this node here. Okay, that is V1. And then V2 is this node here. And also we are given that this node is the reference node or the ground. So this symbol is a reference node. Reference or sometimes it's called ground node. And what does that is? That means that means that the voltage here V is equal to zero, right? Relative to this circuit. Okay, and then the second step that we need to do is assume the direction of the current. Assume the currents direction for each component. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Maybe let's assume this is going down. Oh, maybe let's use another color. Red will be fine. This will be going down and this one also going down and this one is going down. This one may be going to the right. And for the branch with current source, I just follow the arrow of the current source. So this is going to the right and this one will be going up here. Okay. And you can actually assume to the opposite direction, we will have the same result, but with a different sign. For example, if I get plus 3, you will get minus 3 if you assume the opposite direction. But be consistent uh, for each solving uh, circuit. So once you assume the direction, you stick with it. Don't change in the middle of the solving. Okay, and then the third step that we need to do is to do KCL, Kirchhoff current law, for each node. So we will need to do KCL for each node. Okay, remember that we have two nodes here, V1 and V2. So we need to do KCL at node V1, and then we need to do KCL at node V2. Let's do exactly that. The first KCL that we need to do is KCL at node V1. Okay. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's see at node V1 here. Okay. And this is going out, this is going out, this is going out, and this is going out, right, from this node. All the currents are going out. So we will have zero on the left-hand side because there is no current that goes into node V1. Good. And then let's start by the EC1 first. This 6 ampere current source because we know exactly how much the current here, which is this 6 ampere. So we will have 6 here, okay? And that is the EC1. But then, for this 2 ohm resistor here, we need to calculate it using Ohm's law. Because this is not current, but this is resistor, right? So we'll have plus. And how to calculate that? It is the node where the current came from minus the node where the current goes to. So I'll have V1 minus v2 but that is voltage to get current we need to divide it by the resistance between them so we will have 2 ohm here so that is for this 2 ohm brand okay we still have two more brands here this one and this one and we can do same game here for this current here we will have v1 here the current where it came from and then minus here, the ground node, the current where the current goes to. So we'll have minus zero here. 
divided by the resistance between them which is 10 good and now the last one here we will have this one here so we'll have v1 where the current came from minus zero where the current goes to divided by the resistance between them which is five good now let's do some simple math here let's move this six to the left hand side so i have minus six and then here we will have v1 minus v2 divided by two and then plus v1 over 10 and then plus v1 minus 0 is just v1 divided by 5. Now we can multiply both sides by 10 I think to get rid all of the 2, 10 and 5 in the denominator because they will cancel into 10 right and on the left hand side we will have minus 60 and then 2 and 10 will cancel into 5 so we'll have 5 v1 minus 5v2 and then plus we will have 10 and 10 will cancel each other so we'll have v1 and then plus 5 and 10 will cancel into 2 so we'll have 2 v1 good 5 plus 1 plus 2 is 8 so we'll have 8 v1 and then minus 5v2 and that will equal to let's move this minus 60 to the right hand side so we'll have minus 60 yes okay and i think nothing further that we can do from the node v1 we have done this and let's save this as equation number one okay and that is good now let's do kcl at node v2 but let's clean up the slide first okay now we need to do kcl at the second node which is v2 Okay, let's rewrite that so we will have KCL at node V2. Okay, again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's see here we have three currents that goes in this one, this one, and this one here. Okay, let's start from the EC1. This branch here is 6 ampere, so we have 6. And then plus this branch here is 3 ampere, so we'll have 3. And then plus this branch here is V1, the current where it came from, minus V2, the node where the current goes to. So we'll have V2 divided by the resistance between them, so we will have 2 here. Good, and the only current that goes out is this one, so we'll have V1 where the the node where the current came from minus zero because the current goes here to the ground so we have zero divided by four good okay now let's do simple math nine six plus three is nine so we have nine plus v1 minus v2 then divided by two and then we will have v1 minus zero that is v1 divided by 4 okay multiply both sides by 4 here so we'll have 36 then plus 2 and 4 will cancel into 2 so we'll have 2 v1 minus 2 v2 and that will equal 2 v1 okay let's move this v1 to the left hand side so we will have v1 minus 2 v2 and that will equal to minus 36 okay nothing further that we can do so we will have this as equation number two okay so now we will have two equation with two variables we should be able to solve it right okay let's clean up this and solve the equation Okay, we have two equation with two variables here and I think the fastest way to solve it is by using calculator here like this and how to use this as equation solver we set this up here this button and then equation solver is number five and because we have two variables we need the first 
here. So we'll have number one. Just plug in the coefficient. So we'll have eight and then minus five. And then the constant term is minus 60. Good. And then the second equation, we will have one and then minus two and then minus 36. Good. We will have our V1 here, which is 5 point, okay, 5 point V1 is equal to 5.45, I think. Yeah, 45, 45. And the unit will be in volt. And then what is V2? V2 is the Y value here, and that will be 20.72, then 73. And the unit here will be in volt. And I think that is the final answer for this question here, V1 and V2. So we get V1 here, and we also get the v2 the value of v1 is this one and the value of v2 is this one hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye